Hi everybody, Dr. Scott Taylor here from Southwest Spina Rehab in Mesa, Arizona. I have our wonderful Chelsea here to demonstrate Thompson Drop Table Technique. A lot of you may have experienced it or heard it in a clinic that you've been in before, but it utilizes the table and has a dropping mechanism. It's a softer, more gentler technique, but it still gets a lot of motion into the specific joint that we're working on. In our clinic, we like to use this specifically for the sacroiliac joints in the low back. It's also very, very good for the lumbar spine in general. So we're gonna show you how this works. So Chelsea, we're gonna have you lie down on your stomach. We've already found that we wanna really work on Chelsea's left SI joint. We can see that her pelvis is rotated a little bit. When we push on one side, it moves really good. But then when we come in here on the left side, it doesn't really move so good. So we're gonna get some more motion into that joint. So Chelsea, I'm gonna actually have you slide downward towards the foot of the table. Perfect, thank you so much. Now in the video, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but I've already kind of set this drop. And so what's happening is, is there's a lever here that I'll pull and it kind of sets a drop. And so the table will drop underneath the patient like that. It sounds really loud. It maybe sounds aggressive, but it's actually a very gentle technique. And I'll show how that's to be done. A lot of times we'll do in a sets of two or three adjustments, but I'm gonna palpate this SI joint and I'm just gonna come over the top and we're gonna do a little push like that. So it sounds scary, but it actually feels very good. I'm able to use that dropping force to put a lot of force just specifically in there to help move that joint. This same technique can be utilized in the cervical spine and in the thoracic spine, but over the years we've found that it works really, really well for the low back, especially folks that they can't tolerate laying on their side and twisting and turning. This works really, really good. But the Thompson technique can be used on, again, very elderly patients, young patients, pretty much any patient that's a candidate for it, as long as you don't have any sort of osteoporosis or anything like that. It's a great, great technique. If you have any further questions, just check out our other videos. Have an awesome day.